Hello dear students. This is our second class of general knowledge. Today we will start with chapter 6 that is phobics around. All of us are afraid of something or other. Some are afraid of darkness, some of height and many other things. The fear of something is called phobia. And in this chapter we will learn what the fear of some particular thing is called. Let's start with phobia. A phobia is a type of anxiety disorder defined by a persistent and excessive fear of an object or situation. Aerophobia, fear of flying. The fear of flying is called aerophobia. This is an interesting one. Fear of marriage. Fear of marriage is called chemophobia. Fear of cats. Fear of cats is called allurophobia. Next, we have bibliophobia. I think many students suffer from this fear. This is the fear of books. Bibliophobia. Next, thanatophobia, the fear of death. Fear of blood is called hemophobia. Next, we have, this is I think there, fear of plants. Fear of plants is called botanophobia. Next, yes, fear of heights. Fear of heights is called acrophobia. Claustrophobia, you must have heard this word earlier as well. It is the fear of closed spaces. Claustrophobia. This is the last one. Fear of dirt and germs. The fear of dirt and germs is called mycophobia. Next, we have fields of science. These are, there are many fields in science and the study of some particular fields of science has some specific names. To start with, we have acoustics. Acoustics is the study of sound. Next, we have this one, arachnology. This is the study of spiders. Yes, this you must be knowing. The study of celestial bodies is called astronomy. Bibliology, it is the study of books. Biology, you all of you are learning biology. Biology is the study of life. Botany, this also all of you are learning. Botany is the study of plants. Entomology, entomology is the study of insects. Ethnology, study of culture is called ethnology. The study of origin of words, the words that we speak. The study of origin of words is called ethymology. Study of earth crust is called geology. Yes, this is heliology, the study of sun. Hematology, study of blood is called hematology. Meteorology. Study of weather is known as meteorology. Numerology, study of numbers. Numerology is the study of numbers. The study of coins is called numismatics. Psychology, you must have heard this word. The study of mind. Study of mind is called psychology. Next, sociology. It has, the word society has come from here only. Sociology is the study of society. And at the end we have zoology. Zoology is the study of animals. Okay, now let's come to chapter number 8. It is about famous Indian scientists. Very many scientists are famous. And now we will learn about some famous Indian scientists. Okay, you must have heard about this man. He is Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. He was a great scientist. He played an important role in Pokhran II nuclear tests during 1998. 
Later, he came to be known as the Missile Man. All of us know that he is known as the Missile Man of India. Next, we have Har Gobind Khurana. He was the first to demonstrate the role of DNA, which later paved the way for better research in gene therapy. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1968. Yes, he is an important personality, Vikram Sarabhai. He is called the father of India's space program, who initiated space research. He played an important role in the setting up of one of the world's largest government space agencies, that is ISRO. All of us know about ISRO, right? So he helped in the setting up of ISRO. Next, we have Subramanyam Chandrasekhar. He believed in pairing the study of astronomy with physics. He discovered Chandrasekhar limit, which proved the maximum mass of a stable white dwarf star. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1983. He is a Nobel Prize winner. Next, we have Homi J. Baba known as the father of the India nuclear research program. He played an important role in the quantum theory. He was honored with the Padma Bhushan in 1958 for his invaluable contribution to science. Yes, he was awarded with Padma Bhushan. And he is the last one, C. V. Raman. He was known for his discovery, Raman effect, which proved that light can travel through a transparent medium. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. Yes, he also won Nobel Prize and that is in 1930. Yes, this is an interesting chapter, the unique universe around us. In which year? They did the Spirit and Opportunity rovers land on Mars. It was in year 2004. Students, I have made it in the form of a quiz and the answers are underlined. Please see that the answer is underlined. B part is the answer and it is underlined. I'll repeat the question. In which year did the Spirit and Opportunity rovers land on Mars? The answer is 2004. Next, which of the following is the ninth brightest star in the sky? It is red super giant. Third one, which of the following is the closest galaxy to the earth? The closest galaxy to the earth is Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy. Which of the following is the largest object in the asteroid belt? It is Ceres. Yes, this is Draco constellation. Constellation is a cluster of stars which are forming a shape. So this is Draco constellation. And this is Crab Nebula. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a nice day all of you. I hope this video will prove useful for all of you. Have a good day.